Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, have, as their name suggests, had their genetic character altered by humans. The notion of modification was developed by the founding father of modern genetics, the 19th century Austrian friar and scientist Gregor Mendel. Mendel studied variation in plants and cultivated and tested some 29,000 pea plants, which led him to formulate the principles which have become known as Mendel's Law of Inheritance. In fact, man has always been cross-breeding, both plants and animals, in order to obtain hybrids with particular characteristics. And in the broadest sense of the term, all domestic dogs, descended from the wolf, are effectively GMOs. But in general, the term GMO applies specifically to organisms modified by modern biotechnology techniques. This usually involves implanting genes from one living organism into another animal or plant organism so that it will exhibit new properties, a process known as transgenesis. Researchers have, for example, implanted a gene from a glowworm, which produces the luminosity of the worm, into a cow embryo. The resultant calf might not exactly glow in the dark, but under the microscope, the cells will emit a gentle glow under stress. Much used in research, genetically modified organisms have many practical applications, particularly in the field of agriculture and food production. Industrial companies have perfected varieties of plants like maize, soya and cotton, which are resistant to parasites, fungi and diseases, or to certain harmful herbicides used in farming. Other GMOs are designed to improve the nutritional value of crops, or to have applications for health. For example, American researchers are working on a genetically modified banana, which acts as a vaccine against gastroenteritis. But GMOs are also a cause for concern. While there is no proof of GMOs being harmful to health, environmentalists consider not enough research has been carried out. There is also the worry that genes in certain plants have a tendency to disperse and contaminate other varieties, thus upsetting the balance of the ecosystem. And the large multinational agricultural biotechnology corporations have rendered the organisms sterile and unable to re reproduce, so that farmers have to buy a new consignment of seeds for every subsequent crop. <laughs>